now I'm thinking about doing a test in Banggood as another supplier just again to try and scale. Would you recommend I probably uh, use open a different store for that? If we're looking on the tasks and priorities, I think for your future, for, for the next step, it's better to set up new account anyway, okay. with a new supplier or without a new supplier. Number one, understand the market. Number two, understand the product. Hey everyone, it's Nahar here from Zeek, and today we're starting our first episode in eBay Store Review. I'm here with Scott. Scott uh, came here today and he's going to let us uh, dive into his business. We're going to see uh, how I can help him to improve his business, how I can uh, maybe help him find better products or optimize listings. And if he's doing everything well, how he can scale his business. This is the idea of these sessions. Every week we will have uh, another Zeke member here with us. And the goal is to make you uh, more successful, to help you to achieve better results. How are you today, Scott? Very well, thank you. Are you? I'm very good as well. Thank you very much. And very excited about this uh, uh, YouTube series we're starting here. And I hope I will be able to, to help you today. Yeah, it should be very interesting. And yeah, any help is welcome. Thank you. Nice. So tell me more. Tell me more before we, we go into the share screen. Tell me more about yourself. When did you start eBay dropshipping? When you joined Zeke? What is your current uh, uh, performance and how you see it in the future? Yeah, so I started it in uh, November, so it's probably only been six, seven months. Um, and I was just, I was looking through, uh, for Zeke, uh, Facebook pages, I was looking through the Financial Freedom Network. Um, and after watching many hours of YouTube videos, I started listing some products from home um, to get the review. Although I had my eBay store probably a couple of years now, I've not really used it. So, so yeah, I just started very slowly, very gradually went through Christmas, obviously I see a little spike for, for Christmas gifts. And then I started to really use Zeke probably in January, um, which helped me find drop shipping products, better drop shipping products. Uh, and then I moved to, uh, I started with AliExpress and I, and I moved to CJ shortly after. And I've used CJ ever since. So it's, um, it's, it's been going gradual and I've seen the last probably four or five weeks, a big, a big spike. I've been trying to scale as much as possible. All right, so let's just, uh, let me make sure I understand correctly. So you, you basically using, uh, you started with using AliExpress as supplier, then you yeah. moved to CJ Dropshipping, and you're dropshipping uh, to eBay uh, UK, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, great, great. So your main targeted audience is UK customers. Yeah. And you dropship from China. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've obviously sell uh, worldwide, but my main target audience yeah, yeah, is the is the UK. All right, perfect, cool. Um, tell me a little bit about your performance. I mean, in terms of numbers, before we we moving to see your uh, store. Uh, yeah. When did you? This is, I think, also a question that's very interesting for the people that are watching. When did you felt you know that you you make this, you, you move to the sec, to the next level, to, you start to see study sales. How long it took you to see study sales? Um, probably, uh, I started to, I was working three, 4,000 sales per month for probably a couple of months because I have got another job um, along the side. So I was, I was listing, I was trying things out, I was trying different niches. Um, and then I found um, a pretty good niche uh, in some some hoodie sales that were quite unique and then I started to scale that and then um, Christmas time there was some gifts and um, some some kids toys that sort of thing and that worked quite well so I scaled a little bit there and now it's like the um, the outside golf sports products once you find one product then you use that niche to get other things that will go with that and that's once you start to scale that then um, then yeah it works it works quite well and that's probably my biggest biggest product so far is is the, the golf cages the golf net that sort of niche cool cool so since the whole situation with the pandemic started it's actually had a positive effect on your business yeah definitely definitely all right nice yeah I, 
I think every niche you search on Zig, you see the spike. You see the yeah. uptrend right now. Okay, let's move on to see you store. Let's see how I can help you. I hope I will be able to, to help you get new ideas and optimize your account. Okay, perfect. So we are looking on your dashboard. I will take control, all right? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, so it looks like uh, you have quite steady sales here, some strong spike here, but it's staying stable. 9,000 pounds in sales in the last uh, 30 days. What is the profit in average you walk approximately? Um, so probably 30, 35%. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I see also big growth in the last 30 days here. Now, um, you say you drop ship from China, so I will start first uh, by going to the business policies. I think it's very important to have the right policies and also to be dynamic. A lot of people, they, they ask, you know, like, oh, which business policies I should for my product? I drop ship from CJ, from CJ or from AliExpress. But I think eventually every seller needs to have a few business policies because it really depends on specific products and everything. It's yeah, no, I've got um, I've got a few business policies. So I've got um, a standard one, which is main CJ. Um, I've also um, I'm I'm just about to start testing uh, another uh, supplier called uh, Banggood, just to because okay. um, they they have UK warehouses. So right. I've just uh, I've listed one or two products. I've done a new uh, a new business policy for that, um, just to t just to test the waters really and, and see see if that works or not. Can you tell me here what is your main uh, poli main shipping policy? I will. You can just the standard, the standard one. The first one. So this, uh, ah, yeah, so you've got one. the that's this one here. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. So you have most of your active listings there. Yeah. So you use here the economy speed pack from China. This is what the CJ dropshipping providing you, right? Yes, yeah, so the CJ actually say uh, five to fifteen business days. Um, but I can't find anything which uh, which fits that. But um, the shipping the shipping times are pretty good. Um, so if the customer gets it five six days, it looks better on me. So all right. And tell me the dispatch time here, the handling time. Uh, the CJ dropshipping holding this time. They're giving you the trading numbers on time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so for their their main their main one is CJ Packet, um, and they instantly give you a tracking number within within an hour of processing All the order. Right. Okay. So, um, so I, I, could prob I could probably do one day, um, but I don't know if that's going to rank me enough to warrant if they are delayed or I'm just, I mean, it, it, it has been one day, but I have taken it back to two just in case. Okay, um, I would suggest you, I think, because there is a big advantage for one day handling time compared to all right, three. Okay. It's a big advantage. Okay. So, right, okay. so if you don't want to take the big risk and just put it on all your listing, you can create another one, you know, yep. and you can move the few of your good selling products. And then you can let, you can see, you know, you can have two policies, see if there is any difference or to see if there is any delay. And if you see, okay, it's safe and everything well, you can move all your product to one day. If you see right, there okay. is a problem, you can move back to two. Walking days, but one okay. day handling time, it's it has a big advantage. All right, okay, yeah, cool. I'll, I'll note that. All right, so free shipping, everything well, everything on the right place. These are the countries you're excluding, right? Yeah, um, and I've added um, a a rate table because uh, again, obviously, certain countries. Um, I've, I've worked out an average. Um, so for European, I think I charge three pounds maybe. Um, and then for uh, America, the prices have gone quite high because of the pandemic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've, I think I charge four or five pounds extra for, for the US. Okay. Um, that, that's okay. just, that's just to cover. All right. All right. It's a good point. Okay. Uh, looks like everything here on place. Looks like everything here on place. Let's go back for a second uh, to see your return policies here, just to make sure you make the best out of it. So you have 60 days, perfect, amazing. And um, yeah, yeah, everything is perfect. 60 days returns postage will be paid by buyer. International returns accepted, buyer as well. Yeah, everything is perfect. Okay, let's get back to dashboard. I have another questions for you here. And is how much sales compare active listings you have per month? Yeah, so I've got uh, 150 active listings. 
okay. so far. Let's scroll uh, down, it's here, right? Yeah, 155 active listings. Uh, yeah. And how many transactions? Um, probably a um, hundred and something, maybe 150. I've not actually checked the exact. Yeah, you can take a look here. It's very important to always, you know, be aware to these numbers because they have effect right. on your ranking. So your goal, of course, is to make as much money as possible. But you also know that if your sell to rate of your, the sell to rate of your store is higher, this will generate you more sales. So, and this is affecting your whole product research strategy because, you know, we come into the computer, we say, okay, we're going to look for product today. But there are different yeah. types of products. There are products yeah. which their main goal is to drive traffic and sales, traffic product. Yeah. There are products which are uh, the bread and butter, usually the product between $20 to $50, you know, product uh, that, that um, generate the most of sales and also the most of profit. And then there is another type of product, which is the high ticket product, which uh, help you to make more profit. So and that's what I've started to do. I've started to, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've got probably three or four products that sell daily, um, a few times a day. And then I've got, um, yeah, three or four between 50 and 150 pounds. So the profit is a lot more. Uh, and then I'm going to try to reach the four or 500 pounds products. Um, but it's just trying to, I know a lot of people like yourself, um, have said, don't scale too quickly. So, so just keep it as a steady, as a steady yeah. pace. Cause obviously the reviews and, and the way eBay look at you. So, um, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm not trying to grow too quick. There is no need to rush. You know, if you see it works and if you see the most important things to understand that if you see that what you're doing right now is working and, and it's yep. growing gradually, keep doing the same thing. You know, I can come here, give you hundreds of tips, but by, by the end of the day, if what you're doing, they bring you a result, you, you just should stick to it, you know? Yeah. Let's say to 30 days. Let's change it to 30 days. Okay, if you see for now, if we're going to see, okay, you have, let's say 90% sell to rate. So first yeah. of all, it's great. You know, this is, this is great. Second of all, we, it can always be improved, but doesn't need to, it doesn't mean that you need to improve your sell to rate um, on top of your profit. So profit is the most important. Yep. So you skip and stick to the same way you work and you just, let's say, add few more traffic products, not too many. So it's not, you know, not uh, the traffic products, not take the traffic from the other product that they're selling. Because in the end of the day, we have a limit of, of traffic we get from eBay. They kind of give us like a budget of traffic. Okay, good. 215 from 155 active listings. You have over 100% sell through. Perfect. Just keep it like this. Okay. Looks like you're doing the right thing. If it's 35% profit and you have more sales than how many active listings you have, you're doing the right thing. And I think we should just go directly and talk about how you scale it because you're already doing the right thing. You're already uh, on the right uh, path. So it's just about from here how to scale it to... 80,000 pound income with 30% and, and some nice team of uh, virtual assistants. So I want to know just one more thing about the structure. Right now you're using your own PayPal, right? Your own PayPal, yep. your own EB account. Yeah. What I would suggest you to do from here is to uh, think how you scale horizontally. So how you create more EB account, at least one more EB account first. And how you take the, the product sourcing, how you outsource the product, so the, the product research, how you get now VA. I don't know if you have a VA. Do you have a VA? Uh, I have had a VA. Um, I had, um, I thought, again, I, t I tested the waters. I've, I've, I've got a few people I'm in contact with. Um, so, yeah, I, I do know someone if I wanted to bring her back. Because um, obviously when the pandemic hit, I was a bit skeptical. Um, mm. But, yeah. I can bring her back. So that's uh, an option I'll think about, yeah. So I think, I mean, once you open a new store yeah. and uh, once you, you set up all the infrastructure to start and scale, because if you reach here 9,000 pound, you, can, you know how to do it also if you start with a new store from scratch. You know, it's not, you didn't came here by coincidence. Now you know how to yeah. do it. It's a fact. Okay. You know how to take store from zero to 9,000. 
9,000 pound in sales, it's equal to uh, 2,000, it's, it's 2,700 pound profit, approximately. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. You, can, you can have a VA that you pay, let's say $500 per month, full-time job, that will yeah. source the product and uh, we, that will help you to list more product okay. in the same way. But, and this is super important, once we start to scale, and this is where most of the people, by the way, they fail. Because yeah. they start to scale, it works for them, you know, and people, when they start to see results, they kind of, they lay back, you know, they say, oh, now everything is good, <laughs> no, no, no. I'll have a VA, <laughs> he will do the job, you know? Yeah. But the VA, with all the respect to the virtual assistants, people, you know, virtual assistant in general people that working for you they need to be like at least in the beginning they need to be in a very strong control it's need to be very calculated uh, and you need to see okay you pay 500 dollars this va let's say list 100 product per month these 100 products generate enough sales to at least cover the cost of the va at, at first so you need to track the products the va list and the sales he generate to make sure he cover his cost yeah, and that's uh, that's one thing I was looking into. I was, I was um, again, I've I've heard a lot of people say if you give them incentives, if like obviously you start off and and you say, obviously I, I need to be making my money back, and then um, yeah, give them incentives. So if they do X amount of sales in a month, you give them a little tip and give them targets to to go by. Um, so that's a that's another thing which I've been looking into. Is, yes, uh, absolutely. You can give them incentives. You can give, you can do it in whatever, whatever you think is the right thing. As long as they're happy, they, they, they give good, they, they make good job. It's good. Yeah. But the thing is here now, it's super sensitive spot, you know, because you're making profit and it's amazing. Uh, but to go to the next level, you need to keep it very tight. You need to make sure, you know, like you are still need to be like in full control and everything. Yeah. And I think, for my opinion, you can also scale this store to 30,000 pound profit. Absolutely. Yeah. But I think it's easier to scale store from zero to 9,000 than from 9,000 to 30,000. This is the first right. thing. Second thing, you split the risk. Yeah. Okay. So if you create a new account now on family member or friend or, or you know, you keep it completely like uh, uh, separated, from each other you you split the risk whatever happens it's ebay we never know whatever happened you have another store that generate this amount and then you can also duplicate one store and after another because if you will open another store and you will make it to the nine thousand on another store this will build your confident in yeah. such a way that you will be that you will be able to go and make it again and again and again and we're talking about big money you know if we make yeah. if, we, if you have five stores or nine stores it's already a lot of money yeah okay so you think set, set up another another store with a, a, a family member and start scaling that from zero to 9,000 yes. is my next. Okay. Yes, I think this is the best. Keep work on this, maintain this and grow this store as well. You are not, as you say, you're not in a rush to, to jump from 9,000 to 30,000 in one month. Yeah. As long as you keep here under 900, 800% growth, you're on the safe side. Okay. So now you have 470, good. If you have your 1,000, 2,000, you may still be operating normally, but the risks for, for a, a eBay asking for documents or any other kind of suspension is become higher. Okay. And like this, like we say, you split the risk, you, you can double your income in a couple of months. I think it will take you, I don't know, two, three months to get new stores to these levels. And, okay. and it will also build your confident. And meanwhile, you will also be able to start and build your team. So again, start from the way I started with some, I still have a few items from home, gain that trust, and then start to build and scale from there on the new store. Yes, I mean, look, exactly. You, you don't have to hire VA immediately. You, if you have the time to do it yourself, do it yourself. You don't need a VA at all. But yes, yeah, start a new store, like you say, build the trust with eBay, start to generate few sales from home if possible. If not, yeah. just start directly with drop shipping. And uh, let's, let's take a look into your listings. Let's take a look into your listings. Yeah. Okay, let's just pick random product from here. I see you, you do variation, it's nice. Let's just open this. So this product sold 12 times, look like. 
yeah, we have gallery, perfect. Gallery pictures, it's good. This is what we need, gallery pictures. Titles look like it's optimized. By the way, one of the good things you do here that you, you, your listing is not looks like it's taken from AliExpress. So this is important, that's your description. Okay, your item specifics. I mean, this specific product, there is not much to talk about, but in generally, the more you can add here about materials, size, all these things can help. This product is specifically not much to talk about. It's not like watch or, or anything with too much features, but yeah, you have the same title for other golf equipment. Okay, so yeah, also here no much. I mean, in general, if you do the keywords, keyword research for the title, and you see that you don't have enough space for keywords in the title of the product, yeah. you, can, you can just edit here. You also organize all the product inside the categories? Yeah, 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 no, I've, um, I've kept, to, I'm, I'm regularly looking at different things, but yeah, um, that again helps. And, and things like this, this note here, um, because the, the, the golf net that I sold is, is doing quite well, I then scaled for other golfing products and make it very clear that if you check my store, you can see there's um, other golfing products. Which All right, and you have category, for example, where do you edit the category for this? Uh, fitness, I think it's on fitness, maybe. Um, Let's take a look. I need to, I need to make sure they're. Uh, so here's your uh, uh, fashion. Uh, it was the fashion, uh, man fashion. Nice. All right. So yeah, it's very good in terms of SEO in eBay to to categorize the products. It's very good. It's also probably one of of the reasons because you do it tells you to get traffic because eBay can uh, uh, get, uh, can link it to the algorithm in different ways. What is right, this? Okay. This is fitness. Okay, so looks like, yeah, it looks like you, you this is featured items. Uh -huh. Here is the golf and fitness. All right, nice 21 products. You just decided to do it from, your, from yourself? Yeah, no, I just tried it and, and, and see, if it, see if it worked and um, I can't pinpoint exactly what's getting me the traffic, but this, um, if you believe this, this could be one reason, then yeah, I'm gonna make sure uh, I continue, continue doing it. Yeah, absolutely, yes. You're not working with hundreds of thousands of products, so you can organize it very good. And it's another small things that push eBay algorithm, you know? It's another way of, of eBay to recognize the product you are listings and, and fit it to surges of buyers. So it's absolutely something you should put effort. And guys, if you're watching right now, and you have the time to do it, I, I would suggest everyone else also organize their categories and walk organize. Let's look to the listings. Overall, we talked about the item specifics and everything else. The story is very good. Item specific can be improved. A description here. I like it when it's very low HTML. I think it's, very, for my opinion, it's, it's very good. It's loading faster, means we're getting a, a faster, a, in the eBay uh, search result. Um, let's take a look. And it's on all, the... it's all yeah. little tips that I've taken from your, uh, from your videos. Yeah, just uh, try and not make it look like it's coming directly from AliExpress or, 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 or CJ. Try to be a little bit different. Try to keep things simple. And yeah, it's all things that I've learned from watching hours of your videos. Nice, yeah. nice. I'm glad to hear this. Yeah, you know, eBay, it's funny. I've, I, I seen how it looks from the side of eBay. Uh, eBay representative, they have a, your profile and they say like, if I saw stores that use uh, templates from all the listers, you know, they all use the same yeah. templates. So, so they say like they mark this store, he used templates like another, one, another few thousand stores in eBay. He, uh, is, uh, uh, he have few stores with the same templates. You know, they see all these small things and they realize who is drop shipping, who is not who is unique, who is serious about his business. They have all this information behind the scene. Okay, so it's, it's a lazy seller if you're just gonna copy and paste everything. Exactly. Let's take a look here on your uh, product research if we're looking on this product. By the way, I see you make this deal here. Yeah. So wh what is this multi-buy? Can you explain us a bit uh, for shortly? Yeah, so, um, again, I've, I've, I've heard that things like discounts and uh, yeah, and multi-buyer and it gives you more traffic um so when when you're on cj um the customer will pay for um for two shipping fees 
Um, so you're still going to make more money, even if you're going to give a discount of 5, 10, 15%. You'll make more money if you sell two. Um, so, yeah, it's just a little little incentive. Apparently, um, it ranks you higher with eBay. Um, so, so, yeah, it's just a, another thing to, to, to boost your ranking and get higher up on that on the top 100 yeah. listings. Yeah, yeah, also boost conversions, I mean, and make more yeah. money because people, they buy more, they see this one. Okay, yeah. let's go up and uh, check this title in Zik. We can just do like this, Zik it, let's see what we get. All right, oh nice, you're working with the dark view, with the dark view, huh? <laughs> Yeah. So here is the title, you drop ship from China, let's see what we get here in the results. Five people only selling, nice. Yeah, I mean, five listings, 12 sales, 20% success rate, 240% sell to rate, the stats are, on place. Let's see about the titles here. Yeah, and you're the only one that's saying nice, nice. So this is very interesting because these guys, as you can see here, they're Chinese sellers selling for a lower price, but you still manage to sell more, more better than them. Now let's see why. This is also important things to understand why. Let's see their shipping. I guess it's because they're shipping. I yeah, think- They don't sell to the UK as well. Yeah, maybe they don't sell to the UK at all. Yeah, this is also an advantage because you're... Uh, yeah. yeah, this is the reason. They're all not shipping to the UK. And this is the advantage of you drop shipping these things to the UK because you're kind of the only person who's doing it. Mm -hmm. And also they have lower returns days. They're not shipping to the United States. Okay, overall looks like also with the product research. I think in, what are you doing right now? Just keep it the same. There is nothing I can add. You know, I, I said about the description and everything, but... But basically, as long as it works for you, just keep it as is and uh, just times to scale your business. You can definitely make, uh, you can definitely take you, your income from dropshipping to the next level right now. You have the skills, you proved it. All you need to do is to just uh, uh, take the step to the next level. That's it. Do you have any questions to me? Any things that come on your mind that you are not sure about? Um not not really um i just just um so what now i'm thinking about doing a test in banggood as another supplier just again to try and scale would you recommend i probably uh, use open a different store for that or solely for that and, and keep my t two suppliers separate um or do you think having it's all on the uh, if i've got multiple suppliers for the same ebay account do you think that's that's going to work or i'm going to be ranked from eBay because I've got different I've got again I've got all the addresses so I've got the um, the location of where the UK is so I'm still using that I've still got the odd home item on here but do you think it's best to separate separate the suppliers for different eBay stores or yes I think it's better if you already decide to go for a new supplier I think it's better you already open your store first also if we're looking on the tasks and priorities I think for you uh, for, for your future, for, for the next step, it's better to set up new account anyway, okay. with a new supplier or without a new supplier, set up okay. new account, make sure, and this is very important, make sure that, that you, start, you, you start to generate sales. You know now which products are selling very good few times a day. You know how to find these products. Make sure you start with these products because you will generate fast sales on a new account. It will be much easier for you to scale it to the 9,000 pound sales. Okay, so do you think I should use the same so the products that are selling well on here use the same on a new account or or, or again keep them separate because I know is should I really be doing that keeping the same the same items that are selling on this store to another store basically you can take let's say two three very good products you have because you already know they're selling you know you already know yeah. okay at least this product it will sell it may also reduce sales from your uh, first store but but you do uh, in terms to push the new store, you know, so you can take two, three products, you know, these products will sell two times per day, three times per day, and you list them to the new store and you, you build the ranking. You know, it's very important. Okay. And yes, you can also try the new supplier. It's better to split it. And, uh, but I think new store, you know, start new store, start to scale it. If you want to try their new supplier, what would new supplier? But there is one thing I learned about business drop shipping any other business with zeke also right now there is the 80 20 rule okay. most of the people most of the business business owners the 80 percent of the time 
they're doing what is not necessary. And then 20% of the time they're doing what is necessary. So it, in terms of times and tasks, 20% of what you are doing brings you 80% of the profit. So instead of investing 80% in other things, invest first the 80% in this 20%, which bring you results. So if you know, okay, right now, this, what you're doing here, bring you $9,000, £9,000 sales a month. Do the same thing on a new store. Yeah, Banggood, it's great supplier. You can test it absolutely, but focus on what bring you results, you know? And then after you establish team that can uh, uh, run these two stores, you have time to, you have time to test new things. Uh, you can, you know, you can try new suppliers. You can try new business models. But right now you just have your proof of concept. People watching this video, they are wishing to be in, in the place you are right now. I think you should grab it strong and focus on this and scale it. Okay, perfect. Well, yeah, I'll, um, I'll come back to you shortly and hopefully with, uh, yeah, in, a, in a couple of months and hopefully we're at the same position with another store, doubling the profit. Hopefully, yes, I believe you can do it. Then you can also uh, say bye-bye for your daily job and just do, do this. <laughs> or you can actually do it right now, actually. You can actually now decide you're not gonna, going back. Yeah, that's, um, I'm definitely thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, take time, no rush. It's things happening yeah. in the right time, they should happen. All right, perfect. I think this was uh, very nice. I'm very thankful for you allowing me and, and allowing everyone else uh, get this valuable information. And uh, if there is anything you want to say to the guys, some, some tips, some, something from you, it's the right time to, to say it. Yeah. Um, no. In in all honesty, yeah, it, it takes a bit of work and and um, all the hours of videos and the hours of knowledge. Uh, knowledge is knowledge is money. Knowledge is power. Um, and I've watched many many hours of of the Zeke videos and also the Financial Freedom Network is another one that I've I've looked at and learned from different people ways of doing different things. And um, yeah, just don't run before you can walk, uh, and just learn, 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 uh, and then yeah, obviously it comes to results and. It's taken me since November, really, which is still not that long. Um, but yeah, knowledge is power. Don't don't give up. Try different things, and then you'll be in this this position and and better. So amazing, amazing! I'm very very uh, happy for this first episode of our, of our eBay store review series. Thank you very much, Scott. Thank I truly appreciate it. And we're going to see each other in the next uh, Q&A session. And you can always contact yeah. me and ask questions at any time. Perfect. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, you and your family stay safe as well. Miss. You too, man. You too. Number one, understand the market. Number two, understand the product.